Half built on the waterfront, in November, this will be the showpiece conference centre for the biggest international event Papua New Guinea has ever hosted. Winning the right to host the Asia-Pacific Economic Corporation, or APEC Summit, was a major achievement for Papua New Guinea. Its capital, Port Moresby, struggles with poverty and high crime, and some living here doubt their city will be ready in time. Yeah, hopefully it will be ready, but given the country's current state in terms of finance, I'm not sure. I have my doubts. But Papua New Guinea's government insists it will host a successful event. It expects US President Donald Trump and Chinese leader Xi Jinping to be among the thousands of delegates and says that the nearly $200 million it's paying to host the event will be earned back in subsequent investment many times over. The government's confidence is in part because the country is getting lots of assistance. Papua New Guinea isn't having to pay the full APEC costs on its own. Other countries are in effect subsidising the event, particularly to Australia and China. Through assistance in kind, providing people, security and training, Australia is paying between a quarter and a third of the total APEC costs. It's as if Australia is having APEC in Papua New Guinea. That's how I would see it. But New Zealand too is sending hundreds of people to help with protocol training and the Chinese government built and is now renovating this second APEC venue. APEC has become an opportunity for rival powers to get close to Papua New Guinea, an example of the way the region's bigger countries are trying to buy influence with smaller island nations in the Pacific. Papua New Guinea is in a very strategic point uh, in, in the world and in, on the world map where it can pull from Asia, it can pull from uh, Australia and New Zealand uh, to its benefit and to the benefit of its people. And, um, you know, any country in that situation would do the same. But others are concerned that their country risks becoming a geopolitical pawn. It's a little bit risky for Papua New Guinea, I think, because in the event of a conflict, uh, it's more likely that in places like Papua New Guinea, those conflicts will, uh, between the powers will be played out. The help being poured into the APEC summit is just one example of mostly China and Australia competing to be the best friend of the Pacific for if or when that friendship becomes necessary. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Port Moresby.